One, two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello. We are those vegan guys. We are. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been quite a while. We said we were going to do loads of videos, didn't we? Recipes we did. and gym and so on and so forth. And then we fell off track for a bit because I was doing a TV show and you were changing jobs. Yes. Um, say more things. So, <laughs> I've changed jobs. I'm now working for a mental health charity as project manager. Um, and Paul has been doing his job for a while now, part-time, um, which is brilliant. I'm um, working on a bar in a golf club, it's quite lovely. Yes. And um, I, I'm no longer doing the TV show, but I've started my own web series uh, called Hey, I'm Talking, uh, which you'll have noticed as retweeting um, or sharing through those vegan guys quite a bit. So recently, so recently, um, which is one of the reasons why we've not done a video for a while, is we were both involved in a bit of horror, as we say, in these parts, and uh, which is a bit of a Yorkshireism. Um, but we, yeah, we've uh, we've been involved in a terrible incident where Paul works, um, and we're attacked. Uh, I don't know if you would like to elaborate. Yeah, on I mean, the, the, the base of it was, uh, I was leaving work and locking up, and uh, I got ambushed. Uh, Jason was waiting for me in the car, they got him out of the car, four guys, uh, masked up, carrying weapons, uh, and very violent towards both of us. Um, that was a good few weeks ago now, and we've decided that we're not going to let that affect us. So we thought, well, what can we do in our channel that's that's good? And, you know, uh, and so this is the introduction for what we're about to do, which is... What is it you're cooking? It's roasted root vegetable soup. And it's absolutely beautiful. Shall we? Uh, shall we start it? Yes. Let's do it. So, uh, as mentioned, we are going to do roasted root vegetable soup, which is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really tasty. Dead, dead easy to do. And uh, even my mum loves it. Um, so you can see here, I've got the bottom half of a butternut squash uh, already cut, skin still on, but de-seeded. And I've got three, two medium one medium, two small sweet potatoes, skin still on and I've washed them, right? So that's all I've got there, but uh, all I'm gonna do basically is cut this into chunks, all of it. The butter, squash and the sweet potato, like I said, leave the skin on. This is actually an uh, adaption on a Nigella recipe, which I got off her show on TV. Um, about must be over seven or eight years ago to be honest we started having it Jason if you remember at the vicarage when we lived there oh yeah that's yeah. where we first started having it at that time we were vegetarians and uh, this soup originally had a kind of um, blue cheese uh, drizzle um, on the top of it once you had it in a bowl but of course that's gone now and the thing is it doesn't need it. So to really northernise it, what we do is we have soup and chips. Am I right? You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. I mentioned soup and chips on the bike ride on Saturday. Yeah. And uh, Panisha had never heard of it before. There's a lot of people say that. I think if you're, if you're native to Oldham or uh, Yorkshire, or I don't know how far north it goes actually. See these long ones here, I'm just basically cutting into circles because they're long and thin, they don't need to be cut up any more than that. But don't forget to leave the skin on because there's so much fibre and goodness in these skins. So, oh, I dropped a piece, I'm not wasting it. So, we've got our butternut squash and our sweet potato there in a bowl, okay? You stay there, Jason. I'm just running here to grab extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna drizzle that all over. And I'm going to grab Himalayan pink salt. Really, really good shake of that. We are like plenty. 
because of course these are both sweet vegetables. And black pepper. Now basically, all you do now is you give that a good massage with your hands. I have a roasting tin preheating in the oven. Mine's a fan oven, I've got it on 200. I'm going to massage all of this, put it in the roasting tray and roast it until the edges go very, very dark, like crispy edges. And then we'll come back and do step two to making it into a pen of beautiful soup. Uh, thank you. Okie dokie, next step in the soup making process. So my um, uh, roasted vegetables have been in only for about 35 minutes on 200 and they are pretty much done. Now this is one of those roasting trays that I hope you've all got at home. We've had it for about five years. I use it for roasting all vegetables. It's discolored over the years, we've scrubbed it, but you'll never get the color right again. Mm. And the, the vegetables are fabulous. So what we're gonna do is, you can see here, I've got a big jug of stock. Now you can use whatever stock you want. I've used three different stock cubes. You've probably got your own methods, whether you use a bouillon or a calor. What are you smirking at? You're smirking behind the camera, cutie. Uh, or, uh, the calor or the calor organic vegetable ones. Where's my spoon? See, this is what real cookery shows should be like. They're all poncy with nice lighting and everything. You don't need that. Uh, so, I'm going to grab some of this roasted vegetable and put it in my jug blender. The trusty old uh, blender and food processor combined here that we've used on the channel before to make our coriander uh, pesto. You should have a look at that because it's pretty gorgeous. Lid on. I'm going to pour the stock through the hole in the lid. And go about three quarters of the way up like that. Pop that, no, in fact I'll leave that off because the, the up blast, because it's really hot. This is why I've got an old kitchen towel. And we... <laughs> first lot of soup. We won't show this in the pan, Jason, yet until we've done the final batch. In fact, let's just go to the final batch in the next scene because that's what you do until you've got the right thickness for you personally uh, and the right texture. You might have two jugs of stock because you might have a really, really thin soup. We like it quite thick. We'll come back and show you when it's done in about two minutes. Okay, we're all done. Everything's been blended. I've used a full jug full of stock and I'm gonna come over and have a look. This is our finished roasted root vegetable soup. Now, it's reasonably thick at the moment, but it's, it's on a heat, so it will actually get thicker as some of the uh, stock evaporates. It is a beautiful tasting soup. It, I mean, it really is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and we're gonna have it this very evening with chips. So give it a try. If you wanted to add some more texture to it, if you've got a really small grater, you could very finely grate a couple of carrots into there just before you serve it. And that'll add a bit of texture to it. But you don't have to, because just like that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just show them this area here, Jason, please. This is what Jason now has to deal with because I've made roasted root vegetable soup. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice that. I, th I think we should end with your sad face. I'll say goodbye, goodbye. Nice to see you. And and then we'll end with Jason's sad face at all the pots he's going to have to wash. Wah, 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 wah.